Dear students, today I want to teach that Vigna Materi synopsis first and then we will go to solve the objective problems related with the Jai means and the CKT. The synopsis of Vigna Materi, the first four chapters, ratios, compound angles, multiple and submultiples. The last is uh, fourth chapter is uh, transformations. These four chapters are set together one set. Combinedly, one question will be asked in the CETR J means. Okay. Now I want to tell about the synopsis. Synopsis in a theory class. You see, already you dealt with the, those four chapters theoretically. So many formulas, fundamental formulas are there in the beginning of chapters. The ratios, for example, in the ratios, the trigonometry definition and its uh, regular formulas. Similarly, the second and the third and the fourth chapters, so many regular formulas are there. But synopsis in our area, synopsis is not giving those all the regular forms. It takes more time. That is also not needed. All those regular formulas are included in your board syllabus and previously you know it about very well. So it is not needed. But in, in this case, here we discuss about the synopsis for the objective purpose. There are some uh, a list of regular formulas, mainly the Tondi formulas. Tondi formulas means it is a shortcut uh, methods, uh, formulas are there. Those uh, Tondi formulas, those uh, shortcut uh, formulas are not mentioned are not to be taught in the regular classes. Here only we discuss. Please try to understand and follow it well. Now I will. First, a list of regular formulas I want to teach. Number one. You see, as you know, sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse, and go on. The six ratios are there. Okay, lead off. The very fundamental is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. It is a very fundamental. This is the first formula we may say in the trigonometry ratios. Then second square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Cosecant square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1. These three are very fundamental identities. Not only these three, again, sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1. Cos theta into secant theta is equal to 1. Tan theta into cos theta is equal to 1. These are six formulas. Each formula is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. Like that. These are identities. Very fundamental identities. Okay. You see, in this one, you take this uh, secant square theta minus tan square theta. It is very important. Secant theta plus tan theta is equal to 1 by secant theta minus tan theta. If a plus is there, minus. Or minus is there, plus. You know it well. It is uh, in the uh, theory classes. Secant square theta minus tan square theta means a square minus b square. a plus b into a minus b. This is a plus b, 1 by a minus b will come. Okay, now? Is it clear? Okay. 
Si vous allez this one, it is Kusikandina plus Kartida. Yes, square minus B square, yeah, plus B. Kusikandina plus Kartida into Kusikandina minus Kartida. If you send to that side, it is Kusikandina minus Kartida. Okay, now, plus, then it is minus. If it is minus, it is a plus. It is also very important formula from this uh, identity. Okay, now, right. And uh, one more. We know it. Sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta. Uh, next. Cos theta by sin theta is equal to cot theta. We know it well. Yeah. You see, these are all the regular formulas, not here. I want to finish here only. You see, <coughs> trigonometric ratios table, value table is there. Value table. You see, sin 0, okay, sin theta is the opposite side by hypotenuse, we know it. For example, theta is 0 degrees, then what is the value? You see, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. I want to teach this value table. I think uh, you know what it was because it is very fundamental even in the 10th class also it is uh, there in the surface. Okay now I want to finish it. It is sin, cos and tan, cot, secant, cosecant. Okay now see, in order to get a, I'm sorry, this is zero, I say it is theta is zero, it is 30 degrees, it is 45 degrees, and 60, and it is 90, okay, okay, in order to get a zero, sine zero, sin 0 value, how will you get a sin 0 value? In the top of 0, you write 0. In the top of 30, you write 1. It is 2 and it is 3. It is 4. Top of method is there. In order to get a sin 0 value, it is 0 by the last digit is 4 with the root. 0 by anything is 0, root 0 is 0. So its value is a 0. Okay now? See, once again I want to teach it. You see, in order to get a sine 0 degrees, the top of 0 is 0. I am taking 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 by the last digit is 4. 0 by 4 with the root is 0. Similarly, in order to get a sine 30, at the top of 30 is 1 is there. So it is 1 by the last digit is 4. So root of 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. Yes, okay. It is 1 by 2. And uh, in order to get uh, 45 degrees, the top of 45 degrees is 2 is there and the last digit is 4. It is uh, 1 by root 2 by simplification. So it is uh, 1 by root 2. For 60 degrees, sin 60, the top of 60 is 3 by 4 last degree. So it is 3 by 4 with the root, is the root 3 by root 4 is 2. So this is root 3 by 2. Is it clear? And the last one, the digit is, it is 4. As usual, in order to get a sign in 90 degrees value, the top of 4 is 4. As usual, we are dividing with the last digit itself, 4. 
4 by 4 is a root 1 is a 1. So it is a 1. It is a 1. Okay, now? Yeah. It is only for the side we are taking some risk. In order to get the cost, it is very simple. You reverse it. In order to get the cost 0, it is sin 90. You reverse it. You take 1. And this 0 goes to here. And this 3 by root 3 by 2 to here. And 1 by 2 here. And it is as it is. Okay, now? It is reversed like this. Okay, now? You know it well. You may stop that. In order to get to tan, you see, tan is a sine by cos. Here only is there. Tan theta is a sine by cos. You know see? Sine by cos. 0 by 1 is 0. Here also, sin 30 means, I mean, tan 30 means sin 30 by cos 30. 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2. 2, 2 cancels, 1 by root 3 is there. Okay, now, similarly, tan 60, that is sin, sorry, tan 45 means sin 45 by cos 45. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2, it is 1. Again, tan 60, root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2. 2 cancels, we get there. Root 3, what? Tan 90. Sin 90 by cos 90. 1 by 0. 1 by 0. It's a different one. 1 by 0. 1 by 0 is infinity, not be defined. Undefined, not be different. But uh, with the rotation, I am writing. It is a infinity. Infinity. You know it, infinity one notation. It is not a number. Undefined, not possible to define. So 1 by 0. When 0 is in denominator, it is a infinity. Now in order to get uh, the cart value, again it is a reversal, just like the sine and the cos. Here it is infinity. Cart 0 infinity. And uh, cart 30 is a uh, root 3. Cart 30 is nothing but tan 60, root 3. And it is as it is 1. Cart 60 is uh, tan 30, that is uh, 1 by root 3. And cart 90 is simply tan 0, it is 0. Okay, now, is it clear? Yeah. Now, over to secant. Secant. Is secant theta, secant 0. In order to get secant 0, it is a reciprocal of cos 1 by 12. Reciprocal of cos. What is the cos 0, 1? The reciprocal of cos 0, that means in order to get a secant 0 is reciprocal of cos. 1 by cos 0 is 1 by 1 is 1. Similarly, here secant 30, uh, cos 30 is a root 3 by 2, it is a 2 by root 3. Again, 1 by root 3 is the reciprocal is a root 2. Similarly, <coughs> 1 by 2 is the reciprocal is a 2 and uh, it is 0. In order to get a secant 90 degrees, it is a reciprocal of cos 90. 1 by 0 is again we are getting a infinity. Okay, uh, just like 1 by 0 is infinity. The last is a cosecant. Again cosecant, in order to get a cosecant value, it is a reversal of secant. It is a this cosecant value, secant value. Secant, the cosecant 0 is nothing but secant 90, infinity. Again it is a, here it is 1. It is a 2, I am replacing. It is a 2 by root 3. Okay now, it is as it is a root 2. Okay now, that is the thing. So, okay now clear now. In the synopsis, in the trigonometry, this table is very, very important. Not the, the table. The concept of this study, this table is very important. Trigonometry means everything is included in this topic. It is very essential. Of course, all these studies, 
taught in your uh, regular syllabus. Even though, once again, you will study it. This is a plane. In the plane, four parts are there. This is uh, quadrant 1 and it is uh, quadrant 2 and it is uh, quadrant 3. It is uh, quadrant 4. Four quadrants are there. Okay. In this four quadrants, if the line OP, if it is on x axis, positive x axis, it is 0 degrees. You know it well. If that OP line goes on uh, y axis, it is right angle 90 degrees. You know it. That OP line slowly lies on minus x axis, it covers 180 degrees. You know it well. That uh, OP line is uh, first on x axis and then uh, right angle y axis and then uh, minus x axis 180 degrees and uh, on this minus y axis it is uh, 270 degrees. Again it is uh, continue its rotation to reach again uh, the x axis that means one rotation then it is uh, 360 degrees. It is known. This uh, 360 degrees, uh, this one rotation takes 360 degrees. It is a separate study. We will discuss again in the last uh, topic as last topic. This uh, one rotation is divided into four parts. 360 degrees, four parts is 90, 90 plus 90, one more 90. Four 90 is 360. 0 to 90 is the first quadrant, 90 to 180 is the second quadrant, 180 to 270 is the third quadrant, 270 to 360 is the fourth quadrant. Here, the main thing is, you are judging me. You are judging If the line, my hand is just like to you assume, it is a radius OP line. If OP line is on x axis, 0. If it is on uh, y axis, is a right angle line. If OP line is not on Y axis, just uh, uh, it is in the like this. It is not on Y axis. It is right right side to right, uh, Y axis. Then it uh, only in the first quadrant. How can we say it not complete the 90 degrees? 89 degrees, 85 degrees, 70 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees. Just look at you. That means we get 90 minus. It is 90. 90 minus means first quadrant. 90 plus means second quadrant. Similarly, 180 minus is again second quadrant. Similarly, into one half rotation, it covers half rotation 180 degrees. It, suppose it comes in this 180 plus it means third quadrant. If it is 270, 270 minus also third quadrant. Suppose it uh, exceeds 270, that means this is uh, It exceeds like this is there. Then it is a 270 plus. Or otherwise, total is 360 minus half. So we may say. So, once again, I want to tell. 90 minus means first quadrant. This is the first quadrant. 90 plus or otherwise 180 minus theta. Say theta is general. 90 minus theta, 90 plus theta, 180 minus theta. These are second quarter. 90 minus is first quarter. Whereas 180 plus 270 minus is third quarter. 270 minus 360 minus. Sorry. 270 plus 360 minus is a, a fourth quarter. One more thing, minus theta is also mentioned, please so you can understand, minus theta. If the rotation in the anti-clockwise direction, that is like this. OP line is there, it is OP, it is x-axis, y-axis, minus x, minus y-axis. If the rotation is like this, it is plus theta. If the rotation is uh, in the clockwise direction, it is minus theta. So minus theta means minus, not only theta, minus a, minus alpha, minus 30 degrees, minus 45 degrees, minus 60 degrees. It is in the fourth quadrant. So negative angle is in the fourth quadrant. Not only 270 plus theta or 360 minus theta. 
minus theta simply negative and is also fourth quadrant. Okay. Now we come to this one. <coughs> you see, so much of theory is there, but not in that. You see, simply some notations are there you observe. Always study trigonometry carefully. Because this study of trigonometry is somewhat difficult. It is filled with so many number of formulas, difficult formulas. That is why, in general, uh, <coughs> all silver tea cups given in the textbook. In some textbooks, also this is also is given. It is one notation. Always study trigonometry carefully. Always, all ratios are positive. Means, let's see, I want to sin 19 minus theta is positive. Cos 19 minus theta is positive. Tan 19 minus theta is positive. Like this, cosecant 19 minus theta is positive. That is the that notation indicates gives the meaning that any ratio of 90 minus theta 90 minus theta is first quadrant in first quadrant all are positives this is the meaning sin 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta 90 minus theta cos the secant and cosecant in 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant so it is always positive that is the meaning of that one always means all all the ratios in this quadrant one is a positive these are the positives always. Okay, next we go to that one. Study starts with yes. Yes means in the ratios sine theta and cosecant theta. Not only sine, it's a reciprocal cosecant also. These two are positive, the remaining are negative. That is the meaning. Whereas the trigonometry, the first letter is 3. T means tan theta and its reciprocal is car theta. In the third quadrant, tan and car are only positives. That is the meaning. Whereas car fully starts with the C. C means cos theta and its reciprocal is secant theta. These two are only positives. The remaining are negatives. I know it is. You see, this is okay. This is first one. Next we go to. Suppose sin of 90 plus A is there, not only for theta, theta is standard, but A, 30 degrees, beta, alpha, you take any angle, 90 plus is important, 90 plus, sin 90 plus is positive, is it positive now? Yes, you know it. Sin 90 plus means second quadrant, in second quadrant sin is positive, not only sin, cos is, cosecant is also Positive. Cosecant of 90 plus B is cosecant is positive. Plus, for these two cases, sign and then it's a reciprocal cos. Suppose tan of 90 plus alpha is there. Don't confuse. I wrote there theta, but I am writing here alpha, beta, uh, A, just like any. Theta means it is a general. Okay. 90 plus here also second quadrant in second quadrant uh, tan is equal to it is a negative whereas uh, cos also 90 minus uh, plus alpha is also negative secant of 90 plus uh, something whatever it may be l you assume it is also negative cos of 90 plus uh, beta is also negative only in the case of sine and the cos positives. The remaining are negative. That is the meaning. Okay, now. Next. Similarly, in the third quadrant, tan of 180 minus uh, uh, minus uh, plus theta. I am going to third quadrant. 180 plus it indicates the third quadrant. The third quadrant, tan and cot are only positives. It is a positive. Cot of 180 plus A is also positive. Whereas secant of 180 plus alpha is there. 180 plus means third quadrant. The third quadrant, 
second is a negative why because a direct cut only positive similarly coefficient of 180 plus beta is the it is negative cos of 270 minus a is there 270 minus a also in the third quadrant in third quadrant direct cut only positives but here the ratio is cos, so it is also negative. Okay, now, cosecant of 270 minus B is there. 270 minus third quadrant, cosecant is a negative. For which ratio positive? Only tan and cot. Is it clear? Focus. Okay, now, similarly, fourth quadrant. Suppose sign of 360 minus theta is there. <coughs> 360 minus theta is the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, cos is positive and secant is positive. Cos is a reciprocal secant only positive. But here it is a sign, so it is a negative. Similarly, uh, secant of 360 uh, minus alpha is there, it is uh, positive plus because cos and secant in the fourth quadrant are positive. 360 minus alpha is the fourth quadrant. Suppose the cosecant of minus a is there, don't confuse minus a, minus negative, minus a is a negative angle, negative angle is there, it is a fourth quadrant. How do we? Uh, we know that uh, concept. So, cosecant of negative angle is the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, cosecant is a negative. Like this, uh, we have to study. Okay, now, is it clear? Let's relate this one. The another small topic is there. It is a T table. It is called as a T table. It is a 90 degrees or 270 degrees. Here it is 180 degrees and 360 degrees minus theta also. Minus theta also. You see, in this table, sign changes as cos. When 90 or 270 is there, sign changes as cos. And the cos changes as uh, sign. These are a pair, sine and a cosine, pair. Similarly, tan theta, it changes as cot. And the cos, cot as uh, tan. It is also one pair. This is one pair, this is one pair, one more pair. The last is a secant uh, changes as a cosecant and a cosecant uh, as a secant. It is one pair. Sine and cos, one pair. Tan and cot, another pair. A secant and a cosecant uh, are on one pair. That means, whenever you see one example, like it is example. Sine of 90 minus theta is there. 90 minus. Of course, by using that concept, previous concept, it is a plus. Also, it becomes the first quadrant. But uh, 90 is there. When 90 is there, sine becomes as a cos. This is theta. Simply write theta. Okay, now. Suppose tan of 90 plus alpha is there 90 plus alpha second quadrant we know it in the second quadrant tan is the negative of course that the table gives positive or negative plus or minus this table gives the same ratio or opposite ratio just like 90 is there if 90 is there tan becomes as a cot this is alpha you write alpha not theta Suppose secant of 270 plus 30 degrees is there. What I mean? 270 plus not only theta, a, alpha, beta, what I mean? 270 plus 270 plus uh, 
is in fourth quadrant, in fourth quadrant, the second is positive. So that gives the sign first. Sign means not SIN, SIGN. Positive or negative? It is positive. Why? Because it is in fourth quadrant. If 270 is there at this table, by this table, secret becomes as a cosecant. So it is a cosecant at 30 degrees, not theta, not alpha. What is added here? That I am doing. So it is a plus a cosecant 30. We know it is a value to okay now. Okay now. Like this, this comes. Next, in this table, if 180 or 360 are minus theta, sin simply becomes as a sin only, not be changed. Cos as a cos only. Tan as a tan, sin simply sin. Cos remains as cos. Tan as it is tan. Cart as it is cart. Secant becomes as a secant and the cosecant no change as simply it remains cosecant only. We cannot. Now I will give you an example. Observe me. Suppose the sign of 180 plus alpha is there. 180 plus means it is uh, in the third quadrant. Third quadrant, 180 plus. Third quadrant, that table gives negative value because in third quadrant, tan and cat are positive. It is sign. So it is a negative minus. If 180 is there, sign remains as a sign. Not theta. Here is a alpha here. So it is a sign alpha, minus sign alpha. Suppose secant of 180 minus beta is there. Secant there. 180 minus, 180 minus is the third quadrant, here, 180 minus is the third quadrant, in the third, sorry, second quadrant, in the second quadrant, uh, secant, uh, secant is a negative, why, because sine and cosecant are positive in the second quadrant, this is the second quadrant, and in the second quadrant, the secant is positive, where secant is uh, positive in the fourth quadrant, in the second quadrant, it is a uh, negative. In the second quadrant, the secant is a negative. Okay, now, again 180, 180, angle is there, secant becomes as a secant quadrant. So, it is a secant beta, not the alpha or theta. What the angle is given, that angle must be mentioned here. One more example. Suppose uh, tan of, this is tan, tan of 360, minus 30 degrees is there. 360 minus is the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, the cos and the secant are positive. But here is tan is there. So it is a fourth quadrant angle, fourth quadrant angle, so tan is a negative. If 360 is there, tan simply tan. So it is a tan 30 degrees. Minus tan 30 means minus 1 by root 3. Okay, now is it clear? Like the last one more example. Suppose cos of minus 30 degrees is there. Minus 30 is a negative. Negative angle means fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, cos is a positive. So it is a plus. Okay, now. Uh, negative angle is mentioned. When negative angle is there, cos remains as a cos. So it is a cos 30 degrees only. Okay, now you see that. Cos of minus theta is a, not minus theta, plus cos theta. Here 30 degrees. So it is a plus cos 30. Plus cos 30 means it is a root 3 by 2. Okay, now. Uh, okay, now. Is it clear? These two tables are very essential. With your own effort, with your own interest, you have to learn it well. You have to study it well. Without these two tables, not possible. Okay, now? The ground is very, very, very important chapters. For that chapter, this is a very basic one, very important 
these two topics, please try to understand and uh, note it well. Go to compound angles. Compound angles, multiples, subcontables, transformations. Certainly, it is uh, the three chapters actually, but uh, together we give the synopsis, all the set of formulas. Okay, now combinedly it is three chapters individually, but combinedly we can discuss. You see, the list of formulas <coughs> it is a sign of a plus b. It is a sign a cos b plus a cos a sin b. If plus is there, it is a plus. Minus is there, it is a minus. In one formula, we are discussing the two formulas in one. Similarly, cos of a plus b is there, it is a cos a cos b minus sin a. Okay, now what is the reason we know it in the theory? A plus B minus will come. If minus is there, A minus B, it is a plus. We know it well. Okay, leave now. Similarly, tan of A plus B is a tan A plus a. tan B by 1 minus. A. Tan A, tan B. Okay, no? Right. If A plus B is there, tan A plus tan B. Plus is there, in the uh, numerator plus and denominator minus. If minus is there, it is minus by plus. A plus B, tan A plus tan B by 1 minus. A minus B is there, tan A minus tan B by 1 plus tan A. Tan. Right one. And uh, cos of A plus B, it is uh, cot A, cot B minus 1 by, it is uh, cot B plus uh, cot A. A plus B is there, it is minus by plus. In the case of tan, plus means plus by minus. But in the plus, in the case of uh, cot, uh, minus by plus. If it is minus, it is plus by minus. Don't confuse. Otherwise, I write clearly uh, separately. You see, cot of A minus B is there. It is uh, cot A, cot B plus 1 by, it is cot B minus cot A. Don't confuse. You see, here in this case, I wrote uh, cot B plus cot A. Order is, you see, order. B, then A. Cot B plus cot A. Cot B minus cot A. Don't write cot A plus cot A. In the case of addition, it is okay. But here, you see, first cot B minus cot A. You practice like this one. Okay, now? Right. Next. <coughs> you see, Sin 2a, it is very important. Sin 2a, find this uh, table. If R B, if you substitute here, we get it. It is a 2 sin a cos a. Okay, now? Here, one more formula. It is a 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square. Tan square a is there. Don't cut this. Sin 2 a is 2 sin a cos a. Okay. It is a general formula. Or otherwise 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square is also is there. Similarly, you see, for cos 2 a, it is very important formula. Very confusion. It is the first formula cos 2 a minus sin square a or 1 minus 2 sin square a or 2 cos square a minus 1. Okay, now. See, cos square a first formula is in terms of cos and sin. Cos square a minus sin square a. It is 1 minus 2 sin square a. 
टू कास्टियर मायसन इट सेकंड फार्म इज ओनली इन साइड थर्ड फार्म ओनली इन एक कास्ट एंड वन मोर इज देयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ टाइम लाइक दैट इट इज वन माइनस टाइम स्क्वायर बाय वन प्लस टाइम स्क्वायर ऑल आर ओके इट इज इन अ थ्री क्लास ओके यू सी फॉर दिस वन here is the confusion please try to understand it is the cos 2a is we know 1 minus 2 sin square okay that means 2a is there it's a half angle is a will agree so it is a, suppose theta that means in place of 2a i wrote theta Then it is one minus two sine square. Theta is y to y. Then y is a theta right. But y is a theta right. So it is a sine square theta right. Try to understand. I am substituting two y is equal to theta. Then y is equal to theta by two. So here y is a theta by two. So cos theta is a one minus two sine square theta. Similarly. It may also two cos square theta minus one also will come because this formula is there. Okay, na? Not only that one. One more thing is also there. It is a cos square theta by two minus a sine square theta by two also for this one. It is also there. One minus a tan square theta by two by one plus a tan square. Theta. This is very important. Of course, the main formula is this one. By using this main formula, we can change it as cos theta means in the half angles it is one minus two sine square theta by two. R two cos square theta by two minus one. It is cos square theta by two minus sine square theta by two also is there. One minus sine square theta by two by one plus the sine square theta by two. Is it clear? Yeah. Again, I want to finish here. As we know, you see here it is the cos theta means one minus two sine square theta by two. Now, as this, I am sending this to this side. It is two sine square theta by two is nothing but one minus to this side. One minus the cos theta. By using this one. It is two cos square theta by two is one plus cos theta. Here only in this. So it is also important. Okay, now please note it well. If you take by that is uh, uh, two sin square theta by two cos square theta means two two cancels. We get uh, sin square by cos square means tan square theta by two is. Uh, One minus cos theta by one plus cos theta is there. Very clearly, tan theta by two is equal to root of square root of the side is a root one minus cos theta by one plus cos theta. These concepts are very essential while we are solving the problems. In the other chapters, not in the first to fourth chapters, in the remaining other chapters of geometry, not only in geometry, in the first year calculus and the second year calculus, also these values are very essential. This concept is very important. Please note it well. Okay, now I think it is clear. Yeah. Okay, now. Right. The next sine three a, sine three a is. Three sine a minus four sine cube. Again, okay, cos three a. Also, it is four cos cube a minus three cos. Here, some confusion is there for the students. Sin three a is three sin a minus four sin cube a. Cos three a is four cos cube a minus three cos. 
in the case of sin 3 minus 4 in the case of cos 4 minus 3 you have to remember it okay well, some confusion is there the students are telling that the sin 3 is 4 sin cube here minus 3 sin here like that no you try to record in your mind again <coughs> tan 3a it is 3 tan a minus tan cube a by 1 minus 3 tan cube the cot 3a also 3 cot a minus cot cube a by 1 minus 3 cot ok now these three are very exceptional this uh, four formulas you see one more sin square alpha minus sin square beta is there sin square alpha minus sin square beta it is sin of alpha plus beta into sin of alpha minus beta ok now uh, also it is cos square beta minus cos square alpha also ok now right Similarly, cos square alpha minus sin square beta or cos square beta minus sin square alpha for the both it is cos of alpha plus beta into cos of alpha minus beta. You see, it is like this. Sin of alpha plus beta and sin of alpha minus beta and sin square alpha minus sin square beta or otherwise, it is cos square beta minus cos square alpha also. Cos of alpha plus beta, cos of alpha minus beta is cos square alpha minus sin square beta. Cos square beta minus sin square alpha, both are there. Cos minus sin. Cos minus sin. Okay. This is one set. By using this formula. By using this formula. You observe. Sin 15 degrees value or not. Sin 15. <coughs> it is a sin of 4. 16 minus 45. You okay now? By using it is a sin 16 cos 45 minus cos 16. It is a sin 45. It is root 3 by 2 into 1 by root 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by root 2. We know it. Root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. It is a sin 15. Okay now. Sin 15 is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root. Again sin 15 is nothing but a cos 75. Will you agree? Cos 75 is a cos of 90 minus 15. That is sin 15. Similar. Cos 15 is a root 3 plus 1 by Two root two. Like this, we can calculate. It is nothing but uh, sin seventy five. Okay, now tan fifteen. It is uh, sin fifteen by cos fifteen. That is root three minus one by two root two by root three minus uh, plus one by two root two. Sin fifteen by cos fifteen. It is uh, observe. It is uh, root three minus one by root three plus one. Why? Because 2 root 2 root 2 cancels, we get there uh, by some simplification, by multiplying its uh, uh, rationalizing factor, we get uh, root 3 minus 1 uh, of root 3 minus 1 by, it is 3 minus 1. So this is uh, root 3 minus 1 whole square is uh, 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3. 
by 2 is there. So it is 4 minus 2 root 3 means at last we get uh, 2 minus 2. Therefore, other tan 15 is nothing but uh, 2 minus root 3 and this value 2 minus root 3 is again uh, it is cot 75. Why? Because cot 75 is nothing but uh, cot of 90 minus 15. It is tan 15. Okay, now this is Similarly, so cot 15, it is 2 plus uh, root 3. This is nothing but uh, tan uh, 75. Okay, now, like this, uh, uh, by using the compound angle values, we can find this uh, values. It is extra. It is not in the ratio value table. Ratio value table is 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 is there. It is somewhat different, 15, 75, like this, 105 is also is there. Okay, we can calculate. Uh, okay, right? the synapsis only. In object 2, we go somewhere deep. Okay, right? so this is sin 15, cos 15, tan and cos 15. Okay, right? is it clear? Yes. You see, it is somewhat uh, different and important. The values of 22 and half degrees. For sine, cos, tan, and cot also is there. Okay, now cot also we can uh, find. All are uh, in the theory class, but it is a uh, essential one. Please try to understand. I will do it. As we know, you see, already we do this uh, topic. Sine so, by 2 is uh, 1 minus. Uh, cos a by 2 with root a formula is there previously i told you but uh, there i mentioned uh, theta but here uh, i am writing a uh, a or otherwise you use theta only what is there it is theta is suppose uh, put uh, theta is equal to 45 degrees what about this one it will become as a sign of 45 by 2 it is root of 1 minus cos 45 by 2. It is nothing but a sine of 22 and half degrees. It is root of 1 minus cos 45 by 2 is 1 by root 2 by 2. So it is root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 by. Okay, now this is nothing but a cos 67 and half degrees also. You agree? Sin 22 and half degrees is nothing but sin of 90 minus 67 and half degrees. It will become as a cos 67 and half degrees. So we may write it as a sin 22 and half degrees is root of root 2 minus 1 by 2. Similarly, <coughs> cos a by 2 is nothing but root of 1 plus cos a by 2 is there. So here also, by putting a, a, a means you write a theta, yeah, theta. Here also, theta is 45 degrees, I am taking, it is root of 1 plus a, cos a 45 by 2, so at last we get the same, 45 by 2 is a, 22 and half degrees, is nothing but a, root 2 after uh, writing the value of cos 45 1 by root 2 under simplification it is uh, root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2 it is nothing but uh, sin uh, 67 of it is ok now nah? ok now nah, it is clear yeah again you see we need a tan 22 and half it is tan 22 and half it is it is nothing but a sin by cos sin 22 and half it is by cos 22 and half it is we get uh, the root of root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 because 2 root 2, 2 root 2 gets cancelled root of root 2 minus 1 by root of root 2 plus 1 and by simplification by multiplying the numerator denominator with its uh, uh, rationalizing factor we get uh, you tell me we get uh, you see it is root 2 minus 1 uh, square by 2 minus 1 will come. That is nothing but, I am writing here. It is nothing but, tan of 22 and half degrees is equal to simply, it is root 2 minus 1. 
this uh, square and root cancels 2 minus 1 is uh, 1 okay and uh, this uh, 22 and a half degrees uh, tan it will become as uh, cot 67 and a half degrees also again cot 22 and a half degrees it is reciprocal of tan 1 by root 2 minus 1 will become as root 2 plus 1 and uh, this is nothing but uh, tan uh, 67 and a half degrees also Okay, now it is about uh, 22 half degrees. Okay, now is it clear? Okay, uh, observe me here. Yeah. Tony Farmers, Tony, a mathematician, not our Indian mathematician, in order to make a shortcut methods, farmers for uh, easy calculation for lengthy problems. He found a nearly a 250 farmers all together, not only trigonometry, total mathematics, trigonometry, algebra, vectors, matrices, binomial theorem, functions, sets and relations, geometry, calculus, statistics, probability, like that, all together. That is the period first and the second years. There are four divisions. Okay now. For four different uh, math problems, uh, many problems are there in order to make that problems to shorten in the calculation. That the Tony farmers are uh, essential. Now I want to teach. This is the important. Actually, this is really the synopsis of our trigonometry. Uh, now, uh, see, <coughs> the number one. It is a sin theta into a sin of 60 minus theta into sin of 60 plus theta is always 1 by 4 sin 3 theta. You see, of course, this formula is not in our syllabus as a problem but uh, as a problem this type of problems are there in our uh, test book okay leave them but it is only a problem in that uh, exercise problems but we are taking the Tony takes this one as a formula you see this formula many times asked in the CET and the J exams also you see for example, I want to note it is a sine 5 degrees into sine 55 degrees into sine 65 degrees. In the J means or in the CET exam, suppose your problem is like this what is the value of the value of sine 5 into sine 55 into sine 65? Is that options are given. If you see this problem suddenly in the exam, the total of our mind uh, drops. You see, 5 degrees, 65 degrees, 55 degrees, no value table. But uh, you see, this can be written as uh, sin 5 and uh, sin 65. 55 is nothing but 60 minus 5. And it is sin of 60 plus 5. It is the same as this problem. Now it is uh, 1 by 4 uh, sin 3 into 5 degrees. Here theta is uh, 5 degrees. So it is uh, 1 by 4 uh, sin 15 degrees. It is uh, 1 by 4 uh, sin 15 means already we know it is uh, root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. So the value of that expression is uh, root 3 minus 1 by 8 root 2. That uh, answer will be given in the options. Okay, leave it down. So that is the method. So this type of formulas we need that the only formulas. Now I write it. I write here. Observe it. It is set of formulas are there. It is sin theta into say, say formula I'm writing here also 60 minus theta. It is a sin of 60 plus theta is 1 by 4 
sign of three digits. Cos theta, cos of 60 minus theta, cos of 60 plus theta. It is 1 by 4, cos 3 theta. Tan theta, tan of 60 minus theta, tan of 60 plus theta. It is simply tan 3 theta. Okay, now. Cot theta is the cot of 60 minus theta. Cot of 60 plus theta. It is cot 3 theta. Okay, now. In case of sin and cos, we get the 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Whereas in tan and cot, that 1 by 4 will not count. We try to record it well. Using the same method, by using these formulas, the problems will be solved like this one. Okay, here one more thing. Instead of 60 degrees, for 120 also the same formula, I mean sin theta sin 120 minus theta sin 120 plus theta. In the term cos also, cos theta cos 120 minus theta cos 120 plus theta, same formula. 1 by 4 cos 3 into theta. In case of two tan and tan. This 120 will become as 240 and that 240 will become as 3 and half. So it is 1 rotation in 1 rotation. 60 degrees, not only for 60, it is 120 and 240 and 360 hours. Okay, now? Okay, now? This is clear. Yeah? Okay. One more thing. This is one set. And the second is also very important. You see, sin theta, sin 2, 2 theta, and sin 2 square theta, 2 square, not 2 theta, 2 square theta and so on the sin 2 power n minus 1 theta is there. What is this answer? What is this Sin theta into sin 2 theta into sin 2 square theta into sin 2 cube theta into sin 2 power 4 theta like that. The last one is sin 2 power n minus 1 theta is there. Then its answer is uh, sin of 2 power n theta by 2 power n sin theta. It is uh, one formula. Uh, suddenly if you see this one is very difficult one. For example, you see it is a sin 10 degrees, sin 20 degrees. Sin uh, <coughs> 40 degrees, sin uh, uh, 60 degrees, sin uh, 80 degrees, like this is given. You see, here theta is 10, uh, 2 theta means 2 into 10 is 20, 2 square, not 30, 2 square theta, 2 square is 4 into 10, uh, like that. It is uh, 2 cube, yes, it is uh, 80. And it is 60. Like this is given. Theta is a 10, 2 theta is a 20, 2 square theta, 2 square is a 4 into 10 is a 40, 2 cube is a 8, 8 into 10 is 80, 2 power 4 is a 60, 16 into 10 is 160. Its answer is a sign of, it is what is n here? It is 2 square, a 2, 2 square, 2 cube, 2 power 4. 2 power 5 will come. 2 power 5 means 32 into 10 degrees. Like that. By 32 into sin 10 degrees. Don't confuse. You calculate with your own effort. Okay, now. Sin 320 by 32. This is 32. 32, how it is? 2 power n. 2 power 5. Here 4 ended, we get 2 power 5. n minus 1 means n is there. So here n minus 1 is 16. That means 2 power 4. So we get 2 power 5. 32. 2 power 5 means 32. Okay, now. Like this, we have to calculate. Okay, now.